Hi, in this video, we will learn to create annotations in Grails application. We all love creating stories, so let's create one. I have created a domain class by the name Story Parts, which has four attributes sentence 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let's assume a scenario where we need to create a story using sentence 1, 2, and 4. So, our given problem is that to choose attribute sentence 1, 2, and 4 using annotations to create a story. Now, to create our own annotation, we would need to create an interface by the name of the annotation. So, we will create one in the SRC Groovy folder. So, let's create one. by the name including story we would need to uh, use the keyword interface here Let's give public now we need to make sure this annotation is uh, applicable to our fields and is available uh, throughout the runtime, we just need to use the following um, notation here. Now let's choose the fields in our domain class your newly made annotation. By placing the annotation on top of those fields which have to be included in creating the story. That's one, two, sentence one, two, and four. Now let's restart our app. Now let's make use of these annotated fields in our controller action to create a story. We have an action by the name, by the name index which, which uh, calls a function create story that uh, creates content uses using the annotated fields. So all we need to do is to write the create story method whose declaration is already there. So first thing will be to get all the fields which are annotated. So we find all the annotated fields using is annotation present uh, method of the declared fields. Now let's concatenate the values of the annotated fields. And now we are good to go to get our result. Our render create story will actually render the our story onto the web browser. So our result should be like uh, hello, are you there and buy on the browser. So let's hit our browser. Yippee, this is the result which we have got. Hello, are you there? Buy is the result that is uh, required to be there. Now let's complicate our use case a little bit by including the number of times a sentence should repeat in our story. For this to happen, we would need to modify our newly created annotation to include times. The number of times our attribute should repeat its value in our story. Now let's modify the domain class. Say, um, we want hello to be printed twice. Are you there to fries and buy just once? So now let's restart our application. Now let's modify our uh, create story method to get access to this count. 
by before this we will need to get hold of the annotation include story and now the times is also here now let's create content to go for that as a title do load this this to create the content. Now let's see the result in our browser. Okay, so this is the result. Hello has been repeated twice, are you there, Twi thrice and by once. That was the required result. This way you can use annotations to solve lots of use cases. One of the use cases that I uh, that crosses my mind right now is to use uh, to just annotate fields which you want to index for example you want to index some fields to create indexes and you want to and use only few fields not all the fields then you can use annotations to uh, to create to actually specify those fields which you want to be indexed all right hope the, you find you all find this helpful thanks a lot thank you so much